Hey guys, today's the perfect opportunity for a quickie. Well, actually, a quickie for me, not so much for you. Here's, here's what happened. Uh, just yesterday, we got a bunch of Colt new-in-the-box guns. Now, the backstory is a employee of Colt uh, got all of these guns when the company went out of business. Now, I know from another collector friend that the employees were given first shot at buying up all the remaining inventory that was in the factory when the factory was closed. Uh, I know they're still in business. Uh, they were bought out by CZ, so I'm sure they have other facilities. But however it all went down, this employee of Colt was able to buy brand new in the box, never sent to a retailer, never sold to the public. All these guns are flat out brand new. Now, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, so I thought I'd just quickly go over them with you uh, and uh, make them available to you. And here's how we do that. Now, you probably know I'm not allowed to sell guns on YouTube, so we would never plan on doing that. However, uh, you know how to get a hold of us. So if there's something here that you really want, uh, just uh, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you out, but they won't last long. Like I said, I've never had this opportunity before and I don't collect anything after 1945. All of these guns are post-1945. Now, believe it or not, when I do videos, I usually do preparation. I know watching my videos, that's hard to imagine, but I spend hours doing research on these guns and background, but again, I don't collect anything after 1945. So on these, what, the reason it's a quickie for me is I'm just gonna show them to you. If you have interest, let us know. I'm not gonna give you background or, or history on them because I don't know anything about these guns other than they're brand new in the box from Colt. Now you will see the, the boxes are not pristine, but here's the first one I wanted to show you. Okay, this is an 1851 Navy uh, made by Colt. Uh, I will show you the serial numbers. I don't know what year it was made. Remember, if you want to do some research, uh, feel free. You can see the case hardening, brand new. Uh, the bluing, brand new. Uh, please don't write to me and say, how's the bore, how's the action? Brand new. Every one of these are brand new. Never shot other than test fired in the factory. Um, you can, might see a, a, a micro hair of turn, and that's just because some somebody, some idiot like me is going to pull this back and put a roll mark on it. Uh, but these are brand new conditioned guns, uh, new in the box. Again, 1851 uh, Navy. This, by the way, is uh, cap and ball. Um, notice here is a brochure about the series, the black powder series. Here is the original manual, and these are still sealed. So this is never the manual has never been taken out of the plastic, still attached to the top of the box. Let's keep moving because remember, this is a quickie. Okay, here's the next one. Now, in this case, the box is uh, brand new looking. Uh, obviously, the cardboard got beat up a little bit. And this is a new in the box plastic case. Uh, this is the target and it is dated 2016. Uh, there's the shots uh, in the plastic. We probably took it out of the plastic. This is a special combat government competition model, and you can see it's in 45 caliber. It does say model zero, but there's another indication there. The only reason I know 2016 is because of the um, date on here. Uh, there's the spare magazine. Uh, it's also in an era where you have to sell it with a, um, a lock. Uh, let's take a look at the gun, but again, brand new. Very cool grips. Here's the magazine. You can see eight rounds, plus you can put one in the chamber. Uh, absolutely nowhere anywhere on this gun. So for, a, again, a Colt collector, uh, this doesn't, I mean, I think they're beautiful guns, but it's not something that I would collect. This is matte finish, and then you can see the high polish finish. Uh, beautiful gun. You notice the uh, improved rear sight, and again, it is a special combat government model. If you want more information, uh, you can see some in the ejection port. And then also for those of you who track, uh, keep track of serial numbers, there it is. Here's the next one. Looks exactly, the box looks exactly like the last one, but this is a little bit different. Here's the information. This is also a government model with rail, 45 caliber, five inch barrel, 
Desert sand finish. Okay, so I, I now have a mental image and you maybe have a mental image of what this is going to look like. And lo and behold, we open it up and sure enough, that's exactly what I was thinking. This is outside of the bag. I'm sure we probably took it out uh, just for the video, but it still has the tag on it. Absolutely no wear. Uh, beautiful grips. Now this one uh, is marked U.S. Marine Corps, but it is not X'd out. So it was never issued. It is marked U.S. Marine Corps, but this was not issued and deactivated. This was just never issued. Here is the serial number. It even has a uh, scanning code on it, uh, marked US. Uh, actually, this is, uh, this is very, very cool. I like this one myself, even though I don't collect them. I'm a little bit tempted right now, I have to tell you. Uh, you do see, again, you have the lock, you have the manuals, everything in there is exactly the way it would have come if you bought it brand new from the retailer. I'm not sure of the date on this one, but those of you who collect this will know. And uh, by the way, new information, Randy actually is a shooter and does know a lot more about these, but it is a M45A1 and it's actually an exact copy of the ones that were issued to the US Marine Corps. Um, we sold one just recently, gun only, and it had some wear. Uh, this one is new in the box. Okay, once again, same box, uh, a little bit lighter. Uh, this one is not pristine new in the box because somebody ripped off the label and then wrote it over here. I'm gonna give you my best guess of what happened uh, because of the receipt. Uh, here's the gun and I'll get to that. Uh, but the receipt talks about the employee sales program, but it looks like it was uh, shipped to a retailer and maybe returned and then they sold it um, they sold it through the employee program, and that would make sense. Uh, here's the uh, make and model. You can see it is made in uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. That would be the caliber. Uh, you see the barrel length. Uh, here's the gun itself. So this is not new in the box. Notice that uh, bottom foam is gone. I don't see it around here, or I'd put it back in. So this is not new in the box, but the gun is, yeah, the gun it looks brand new. Uh, this is the extra magazine. Looks like um, 10 rounds, and you can see 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. Now let's take a look at the gun itself. Uh, just a beautiful example of a gun that I've never seen before. It actually on that receipt says, no longer made by Colt. So this may have had a short run. In fact, if you look at the serial number, that tells me they didn't make very many of them. So it may turn out this is the rarest gun of all um, because I've never heard of it. It looks like a Colt Z40. Uh, some of you would know about it. I know nothing. Uh, that's what Schultz, he said, I know nothing. Okay, this is also new in the box, but I can tell from the box, it's not as fancy as the other uh, blue boxes, uh, but I can tell from the box, this is gonna be a commemorative, and sure enough, this is the 100th anniversary of the 1911, 45 caliber government model. You can see it's gonna be royal blue, and there's the anniversary, and uh, the serial number of the gun is right here. Now. So that was the exterior box. I'm pulling that off. Uh, this is brand, brand new, just absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be pretty cool. Somebody's gonna to wanna to jump on this. Uh, this does have the extra little padding. Uh, there is probably a copy of the original manual. That would be my guess. Uh, here is the spare magazine wrapped up. I'm gonna leave it wrapped. Uh, these are the original manuals and sales brochures that came with it along with a lock. Set those aside and we'll take a look at, this is a 100th year anniversary, a nice, uh, looks like a replica of the craft box. We, we do get them uh, in the original cra craft box, uh, but here is the gun itself. So these are the original factory tags and you, <laughs> this is original wax paper all crinkled up. You know, they had to crinkle that up so they could say, that's the original crinkled up. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this gun. I just love it. I'm, I'm staring at it instead of showing it to you. Look at this gun, absolutely beautiful. Brand new, absolutely nowhere as you would expect for a commemorative. Look, the, the slide has probably not even been racked back very much. Ejection port and then here is the, the gun itself. You see the factory logo. See the little bit of engraving. That is the correct uh, you probably are having a hard time seeing that just because there's so much shine on it, the light reflects off of it. But absolutely brand new, in the box, uh, available. You know how to get a hold of us. Just email us if you have interest. 
Okay, this is the outer layer, of course. Actually, there was, uh, on that last one, there were three layers of boxes. So this is the outer layer. Uh, let's see what this one is. Custom 1911 A1. So this is World War II era matte blue. And there's the serial and model information with a Z on it. Okay, I removed the outward uh, box. And now we have the next box again, brand new, not scuffed up at all. Look at the inside of that, bright white. Uh, there is the foam, and then here is the gun. Now this one doesn't come in a craft, craft box, that's interesting. So the box in a box, but not the craft box. And again, you can see the lock, original lock, the original manual, this original sales brochures, and a spare magazine just like a World War II era Colt. Uh, now this one comes with uh, the factory label, and let's take a look at the gun itself. This, is, this style actually, um, at the very end of the war, they had these vertical line and that is the uh, mainspring housing. Uh, that was from World War II era. The um, earlier ones were all checkered in the back. I just think that's interesting. And then you see um, a embellished grip. And then the Samuel Colt uh, has his face and name and logo and uh, engraving, beautiful gun, check out the top. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about. What building is that? That looks like a uh, Mormon tabernacle or the uh, Islamic tabernacle. I'm sure, I hope I'm not insulting anybody, but tell me what that is, because I don't know. You know what? I think in Hartford, Connecticut, there might be a building. Seems like I drove through there one time and there might be a building. So maybe it's Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, let me know. Uh, please comment. I, I hope I hear from a lot of you who respectfully say, you don't know what you're talking about, but that's what a quickie is. I don't know what I'm talking about. No research. Just showing them to you because I want to know if any of you guys are interested in these guns, let us know. Brand new in the box from an employee of Colt. Okay, I want to hear a collective ah oh, from all of you because that was the last of the box Colts that came from the employee of the factory. These are now a couple of other guns that I got in on the same day, and these were rescued out of Canada. Now, whenever I talk about uh, Canadian rescue guns, I'm always showing you either a P38 or Lugers. Um, but in this case, I actually have three guns I'm going to show you that came out of Canada. Now, this is the Smith & Wesson. This is a pre-27. Um, the models of the Smith & Wessons are very confusing because they don't often put it on the box or on the gun, unlike Colt. Uh, but uh, I did actually look into this one a little bit. So let's start with the box um, because uh, this is Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum pre-20 model. It's a pre-27. The number of the gun is, the serial number of the gun is on the side of the box. However, I want to point out it says six inch barrel. So this may not be the original box. Perhaps somebody put that together, but this does look all correct. So I can't say for sure. I'm just letting you know. It says six inch barrel. There's the serial number. And here is the gun itself. Now inside, I'll just point out there is a manual. Uh, right here with a policeman shooting a gun. And then also this, which I don't believe is original. It is made by Smith & Wesson, by the way. But that some people prefer that. It clips on the front. I'm not going to be able to do it, but it clips on the front. Made by Smith & Wesson. This is in the box, but I, I've never seen one in the box before, so I doubt that it's original. Now, we, I showed you the serial number here, and the same serial number is found under here. This would not be considered brand new in the box. Again, it came out of Canada. You can see some scratches here. You can see a little bit of wear. Unlike those other ones, you can definitely see the, the uh, turn marks or roll marks on the cylinder. Pops open very easily, excellent condition. You can see the information in here, which tells me it's a pre-27. And also I wanted to show you the import mark or show you that you can't see the import mark. I can't see the import mark. If I get a magnifying glass inside here, there's a slightly different color. And that's the import mark. Absolutely invisible import marks. If you were a secret agent and you were writing in invisible ink, that would be it. So I find it um, not offensive at all, but it did come out of Canada. It was rescued out of Canada. And that is a 357 Magnum uh, in almost new condition in hopefully the original box, but there would be some discrepancy 
correct serial number, but it's not a six inch barrel. Okay, just two more to go. By the way, all of these are modern weapons. And uh, I think with the exception of the cap and ball, obviously I, that may not qualify as a modern weapon, even though it was made in a modern era. But all these are modern uh, weapons. So if you're buying them from us, we do need to ship to an FFL. Not that you would ever buy a gun off of YouTube, but say for chance a friend of yours. Uh, but these are uh, modern weapons. This is uh, a Model 27. I believe it's a 27-2. Uh, just like the uh, last one I showed you, but there is no box. Um, and here is the serial number if you, it has an N prefix. Uh, these are not brand new. This one actually may be a little bit nicer. Uh, just a very tiny uh, roll mark. There's the other side of the gun. Three, again, 357 Magnum. Again, a Canadian rescue. For those of you who collect these, there's important information here. And then you can see the uh, import mark made with invisible ink. Uh, the bore is absolutely uh, just all these guns. They're, they're beautiful guns uh, in like new condition, but not new condition. And then finally, this Colt Python. Uh, love the Python. Here is the serial number. It does have an E prefix for those of you who might want to date it. Again, I, I'm not doing any research, but I know this is original nickel. Uh, you do see the uh, blued rear sight and front sight. I also believe that these are uh, not really replacements, but probably a special order because I believe they originally came with wooden grips, but this was an option. Some people prefer these rubberized grips. I could be wrong, uh, and you can respectfully uh, make a comment if I'm wrong about that, but I think it would have come with a, originally with a, um, wooden grips and somebody replaced it with these rubber grips. But no, this does not come with a box, but it is in absolutely beautiful condition. Uh, I can't say no roll mark, but I can't really see a roll mark. This is really hard to show the nickel finish uh, because of the shine, uh, but you do notice that it's matte on the top, and I've heard many times that's so you don't get a reflection from the sun when you're shooting, uh, so it reduces glare. Uh, also tells me that it's original finish. Uh, beautiful 357 Python. Hey guys, thanks for watching. A little bit different than what we usually do. But again, we're not allowed to sell guns on YouTube. So unless Elon Musk buys the company in the next uh, few days, uh, this is going out and you'll have to get in touch with us if you're interested.